Hey everybody, it's John Elzinga. Uh, welcome to It's a Great Day to Serve the Lord, coming to you from sunny Southern California. <laughs> Not, <laughs> it's been raining like crazy out here. Um, <clears throat> still getting over a little cold, so if I sound a little bit different, uh, hope that doesn't uh, change the effect <laughs> of what I'm about to share with you. I want to talk today about what I call the worship factor. And uh, there's really a secret that I want to uh, share with you. It's a a mystery, really. Um, something that I once took for granted and an experience that, you know, awaits us that can literally transform our life and, and give us more satisfaction and confidence than more, almost anything else. And that is the worship factor. Psalm 22.3 says, But you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel, or the praises of your people. And in fact, uh, I have heard it uh, said that this, this idea of being enthroned on really means that God inhabits the praises of his people. That there's something about praise, something about worship, where we sense and feel God's presence more firmly. Um, this is something really powerful. Now, I, I keep a journal, and, um, you know, sometimes I'll... I'll do it every day. Sometimes there may be two months worth of a gap uh, between them. But um, in 2019, um, actually in May of 2019, the beginning of May, um, and really before I think all the lockdowns happened in the pandemic. So um, it was just before that. And, and I feel it even more strongly now since then. But I wrote in my journal... Today, I get to go to church to worship and once again be filled with God's Word. Yes, every day I can, and usually do, read God's Word. Every day I can listen to Christian songs on the radio, and I usually do, um, or over my smartphone or, or whatever. But there's nothing like being surrounded by other brothers and sisters in Christ who love the Lord, praising God together, hearing God's word together, and even praying together. There is a special blessing you get, a greater joy, an overwhelming sense of God's grace fills me to the brim, and I leave refilled. I do. I, I leave recharged. I leave reconnected, not only to God, but to the people of God, other people who love the Lord. And, and just a week later, one week later, I, I have another post, and I use the scripture, that I was reading the scripture, that God is enthroned in the praises of his people. And, and I say this, when we sing praises together and worship God together, there is an extra sensory sense of God's presence. It's not the same as singing alone in your car or listening to a great worship song. There is something extra, something different, something wonderful when we worship and praise God together. You get the sense that God is on his throne and that we are giving him all of the praise and all of the glory that is due to him alone. That is the worship factor. But it's, it's not just worship, it's the combination of worship and word. I, I, as I got old, I'm getting older, I, I, I have this growing sense, this increasing sense of this experience, how valuable it is. Psalm 43 verse four says, then, David speaking, then I will go to the altar of God, to God, my joy and my delight. I will praise you with the lyre, whatever that, that instrument is. It could be praising you with the drums. It could be praising you with whatever instrument, praising you with your voice. My greatest joy now is worshiping God in the presence of his people worshiping God together with other people who love the Lord. And, and it's, a, it's an incomparable joy. It doesn't compare to anything else. And you get filled and refueled and, and 
you get this sense that he is with us wherever we go. My friend, there's something that awaits you uh, in worshiping God with others, otherwise known as going to church. There's something there. More and more, I believe, you will experience God's presence. More and more, you will be prepared for the week ahead. More and more, you will experience healing. And, and I'm not talking just, you know, healing of cancer or, 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 or other things like that. I'm talking about healing of the heart, healing of our brokenness, healing of our sins. The, the sense that we're okay, you know, it's okay to not be okay. We're okay when God is there. More and more, you'll experience a connection that you cannot get anywhere else. And so I ask you, my friend, what are you waiting for? Go, worship, enjoy the Lord and bask in the wonder of who he is and what he has done for you and be filled with his word. And you will find a greater joy and healing. It will revive you, it will regenerate you, and it will become the highlight of your week. Well, God bless you and remember, it's a great day to serve the Lord.